Before we get into the video, I quickly want to share something with you guys. As you all know, I keep it real on my channel and I'll always be honest with you guys. So last Tuesday I had a really rough time and I binged again, which led to a binging spree that lasted until yesterday. And I was finally beginning to feel slim and better about myself and now, in only 5 days time, I've gained 20 pounds and I feel fat, sick, bloated and ugly again. That's why I haven't uploaded a video of Luki with me in it yet. It really frustrates me that I haven't got the courage to appear in front of the camera now because I have a lot of interesting owl videos that I want to make that can help those of you who have an owl or who want to learn how to raise and train an owl but unfortunately I need to be in it. I have one that I can make without me in it and I will upload that tomorrow. So I just wanted to ask you guys to bear with me and the second I feel a little better I'll upload a shitload of owl videos for you and that's probably by next weekend. We'll just ignore the fact that I won't look as good as I had planned, okay? <laughs> so let's get into the video now. So this is the horse I currently ride. Her name is Ushi and she's five years old so she's a pretty young horse and I always struggle with putting on the halter so this little sweet girl is helping me. <laughs> And Ushi got away, she ran further into the pasture and it was quite an adventure to get her off the pasture. That's why we're laughing. <laughs> She's a really sweet and good horse. The only <coughs> thing that makes it hard for me to ride her is that she's a very scared and insecure horse. And if you put an insecure rider and an insecure horse together, that's usually not a very good combination because horses need a strong leader. And if you're riding a horse that's insecure and you're getting insecure as well, the horse will start taking all of the decisions. So it will decide where to go and where not, where not to go. And as a rider, that's obviously not what you want. So this is a challenge for me. But she's super, super sweet though. Here I'm cleaning the horse, which is super important because sand can begin scouring under the saddle, which is really annoying for the horse and it can start to hurt and they can get wounds because of it. And this is really cute when she tries to make contact like this. She's super sweet. And here she obviously has an itch that needs to be scratched. <laughs> and here she's like, where are you going? <laughs> she's so cute. As you can probably see here, the sand is wet and this scared me a little bit to canter later on in the lesson because as always I got scared and I started thinking oh my god my horse is going to slip because the sand is wet and it's going to fall and I am going to land underneath it. <laughs> and that was why I was really struggling to canter but I do canter eventually though, I'll show you the images. <laughs> 